morning y'all happy vlogmas day nine my name is Sonali if you guys are new here and if you are definitely subscribe and if you are already subscribed make sure you have your post notifications on so you can get notified for every video I post because I'm posting daily content around here and it's exciting like it is the ninth day and I'm still doing it I'm so proud of myself and I'm gonna keep going I have a good feeling about this year so today I finally got all of my packages honestly not even all of them but majority of the packages from black friday and i thought i would just do a black friday haul i know the sales aren't going on still but if you see something you like it's still probably there just not on sale and i obviously just wanted to share my picks with you guys so also this morning was hair washing day and i tried to play around with the dyson with the like roller brush thing and i like it I think I just like the curling thing better, like the bigger bear also. We'll probably stick to that. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is something I didn't get from Black Friday. My mom actually got this for me on Amazon. And it's kind of like that Lululemon like workout top dupe. And it has like this twisty thing in the front. I think it's so cute. It is kind of like a lot like lighter than I thought, like the material is. Um, but I guess it's like perfect for working out. So that will be very cute. Obviously, I got the tan color, but there were like a billion other colors to choose from. So I'll definitely link this down below and I'll link everything in the description box if you're interested in any of these styles or anything. So the first official Black Friday store I want to cover is Urban Outfitters. I actually did get a couple things and I'm randomly obsessed with the color green right now. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like it's a theme on my Instagram and I'm like obsessed with matcha. And obviously matcha is green if you didn't know. <laughs> I literally put the specific filters of like beige and green whenever I was shopping this Black Friday. So I found this little fanny pack thing and I thought it was so cool. It's more like a sling bag like to wear like here, not like on your um, stomach. But I thought it was so cool and like a cute little thing for like a hike or if I want to go walking will pop up color with my like beige aesthetic, you know? So that was cute. Speaking of beige, I splurged a little and ended up finally getting the champion hoodie that I've been like literally wanting for forever. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this because I just bought one from Set Active. I think it's this color, it's the oat color. Um, and I think it's a hoodie or it's a crew neck, I can't remember, but if it is a hoodie and like I like that one better, I might return this one. So we will see. I like the more like beige, you know? This is more like, like almost a green. <laughs> so I don't know, actually inside it's really freaking soft. So I like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it. I got two more things from Urban. Finally, another graphic tee and I have a Nirvana one. That one's like a one size. This one actually had sizes. So I was like really confused on what to buy because I know it's already oversized. So I just got a large and it's pretty oversized. But honestly, I don't really care. Like I like wearing these as like dresses and I'm so excited to just have another Urban Outfitters graphic tee because these are like everything. And then I got this cheek stain thing, cheek smudge from this brand called Oh Hi. It's like a new brand on Urban, and I'm really excited to try this color. It's in the color Sahara, and it looked a lot more like red and orange online. You can probably guess the next store I shopped at, Abrahami & Fitch. I've recently become so obsessed with their clothes because it's just not the logo shit anymore, which is amazing. And they have such good bodysuits, so I got a couple of those, but we'll start off with this one. It's like a low cut, just long sleeve shirt. I thought it was gonna be a bodysuit, but I guess not. But this will work too, because I feel like I have too many bodysuits and sometimes you just like don't wanna have to deal with like that situation down there. So this will actually be perfect, but love my neutrals. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. Abercrombie has like the best jogger slash sweatpants ever. And I actually need to do laundry because all of my sweats and leggings are dirty. This is the pair I picked up. It's like cozy jogger pant and it's really freaking soft. So this will be perfect. I wonder if this has like a matching top cause that'd be like really cute like holiday neutral set. I got this really cute beanie from Abercrombie. I don't know, I literally never know how to wear this shit. I like have to like 
figure it out every time. Then I got this mock neck bodysuit. I'm so excited to wear this because I also got it in black and I actually just wanted the black one, but then I was like, I feel like I could definitely use the nude one. So this is just like such good quality. I wish you guys could like feel how thick this quality is. Um, but seriously, just trust me on this. Like their bodysuits are everything and they're not like crazy expensive, especially for the basic bodysuits. Like you're going to wear them so often that they literally just like pay themselves off because you get so much use out of them. I'm not sure if I talked about my new obsession with you guys yet this vlogmas, but I have been loving the Splits 59 Raquel high-waisted flared leggings and I actually wanted to get just like regular um, leggings. Like I think this is like a seven eighths length, but since I'm short, okay, sorry. My hair's like everywhere. It doesn't know what part it's going in. But anyways, um, the seven eighths probably hit me like perfect because I'm, I'm a little shorty. I'm like five three. Um, but their material on their freaking pants is everything. Honestly, compared to all the leggings on the market right now, I feel like they're normal priced. I think they are like 98 or something. I already had the Raquel high-waisted leggings, but I wanted to pick up another pair because they're just so good. And this time I got the short length because the other one just like drags on the floor <laughs> and like honestly at home like I think it's like a cute vibe or whatever but like when you're going out and it's raining outside like that's an issue so I'm really excited to add more of these leggings into my collection I got one thing from Express and I really hope it turns out to be really good and like what exactly what I want I've been just looking for the perfect camel coat pea coat situation because I feel like it's gonna be really cold this year and I want something just like to actually warm me up and to be super stylish. And I mean, obviously this could be a little thicker, but this is what it looks like. Sorry, the bed's in the way. Um, there's like a little tie, but honestly, when it is thicker, it just makes me look like really, really chunky. And I don't like that. Like, I don't like looking like a marshmallow in the winter. So I will like update you guys whenever it I have to go outside and like actually wear this coat if it keeps me warm because it is like that material that I feel like it can keep me warm. So we will see, but I am so freaking happy that I found a coat, finally. <laughs> the only package that didn't make it into this haul is Set Active and I went crazy on their site <laughs> on Black Friday. So if you guys want like a whole separate Set Active haul, let me know because I got so many new colors and I'm just really, really freaking excited to get them. If I didn't mention already, this workout top and these leggings are from Set Active and they're just like so good. Like they really just suck you in. Also, the bras really do a good job of holding up my boobs and even this one shoulder one, like I could probably work out, do like light workout, you know, nothing like crazy. I'm not sure if I would like actually run in this or like wear it to Orange Theory, but like if I was working out on my own, then I would. So yeah, but an update on Orange Theory. <laughs> Um, I still have my account freezed because I didn't want to cancel just yet because I don't know if I'm going to want to get back into it in the new year. Um, you still have to like wear masks in the studio. I know how out of breath I usually am during an Orange Theory class, so I really couldn't imagine like wearing it during a workout. So that's like why I kind of like froze it and I just like wasn't feeling it anymore and especially like now that I have a job, I usually like going in the mornings but then like I can't do like a 5 a.m. because then I would just like crash at like 2 p.m., you know? So I'm just trying to figure all that out and see if like that's still good for me or should I just like do home workouts or what is going on? So yeah, that's the update with that. Um, I am going to go get to work and I think the cleaners are coming today. So I have to clean up my room because it's a little bit messy. Obviously, I just like unpacked everything. I honestly have no idea what time it is, but Ryan's on his way over because we're going to hang out maybe get dinner. I've been like searching for restaurants to go to because my dad lives in the Alpharetta area. I was actually raised in Roswell, which is literally like the city over. So it's not even that far. Um, but I feel like there's so many new restaurants in Alpharetta because they have like this whole like historic Alpharetta. I don't think that's what they call it, but basically there's a historic Roswell, which is Canton Street, which is literally like straight out of a Hallmark movie. But honestly, I feel like everyone's copying that kind of a style. So now Alpharetta has something similar, which is like so much bigger, obviously, because it's newer. Um, and so they have a lot of new restaurants and I really want to like try some of them out. I tried Jinya, which was over there. Um, and so I think we're gonna go over there, but also 
It is the day that we're getting my damn mirror <laughs> and we're gonna go to Home Goods. <clears throat> what was that? We're gonna go to Home Goods, pick it up. I already paid for it. I just didn't fit in um, the car I was in that night. So I'm gonna get it today. And I also kind of feel like I should dress up for dinner because I just got <laughs> new clothes and I should wear my jacket. Maybe I should wear my jacket. My hair is done, my makeup's done, you know. Let me just pick out an outfit really quick. I surprisingly got ready a little bit early, so I filmed a TikTok and this is my outfit. I'm wearing a Princess Polly like turtleneck dress. I'm wearing my sheer text tights and my Doc Martens. And then I have my new express coat. It's happening y'all, we're getting the goods. We just got home from dinner and this is the mirror. It's super big. I'll show you guys tomorrow like in the light and everything so you can see it a little bit better. But it has like a wood finish on the edge. So I just have to find a good place for it because I want like good light. So I want to maybe have it like on one of these corners. But then it's going to have to be like angled so I can actually show my outfit, you know, because it fits this way. Then I can't stand like right in front of it and take my picture because that's like too close. You get what I'm saying? So... I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed like my whole Black Friday haul and all the links will be down below. So go check them out if you're interested and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.